design, programming, all belong to IT technical aspect. And database design, management, data warehousing, and IT architecture standards, operating systems, voice data, telecommunications, and the server hosting, security, desktop support, and help desk. So all these various areas are belong to IT technology. Okay. IT also cover another major aspect, which is the business domain. It include industrial knowledge, company specific knowledge, business process design and re-engineering and communication. So those are beyond the business domain. And finally, for project management also is one of the major IT area. It dealing with the project planning, budgeting, scheduling, project risk man management, and project leadership. So from this uh, list of uh, IT areas, we can see database design or a little bit high level data warehousing or data mining are a major IT technology. So that's the one reason we need to study database, database management. Another reason, major reason is database is part of your degree footpath. Uh, it's a core course for all the computing programmings. For example, if you come in from BRT, from CS, from SE, this course is a major requirement as a core course. But if you come in from the other aspects, I know you must come, most, many of you coming from the other areas, other faculty, but I, the database is also very important, maybe related to your major or related to your career path, or it's uh, useful for your career path. Third reason, we see database and database related uh like data mining is the market and the direction for the job okay these days if you do some job searching like uh, ictcareer.com.au if you're searching there if you're searching the dba like dba means database administrator you will find uh, many opens for job uh which is well paid like uh, more than 100k so that's the job market okay and also i had some student previously um like one student he was in the third year and already being employed by company to do the sql server management system management okay so that's the job uh, uh market uh it is also the research area um, i have a phd student working on so-called the multimedia mining for social media that's very related to database data warehouse and data mining so this data for example one uh, topic she's researching in is kind of user uh, using uh, data mining to predict the event using the Twitter. For example, you get all the Twitter, analyze all the multimedia data the Twitter give you, then you make prediction whether some important event is happening. Okay, this is a kind of research in data and data mining. When research in this area could be some people working uh, on some aspect of future computer which is supposed to be able to know before you 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 do it for example it even know what you are going to eat and where you are going before you take action so this is kind of uh, uh, artificial intelligence applied in database in data mining uh, Nowadays, all companies want to be a company of big data.
data. So this is a kind of very popular aspect. Uh, just like uh, about five or ten years ago, remember, remember, uh, in those years, those days, so-called internet life is a uh, very was very popular. Okay, nowadays the big data is pretty popular. Okay, so that's what I say. Uh, is the market and the direction for database for big data for data uh, mining or data intelligence. Okay, so I give you the three reasons why we need to study database. Uh, what you will get out of uh, this course, uh, of course, first important is the theoretical and the practical knowledge of database design approaches. Uh, this course will start from a business case, business data and follow all the steps of a database design to design a database. And also how to maintain or manage design the database. After study this course, you will have the skill to make you job ready in database design and the management area. Okay. And also, you have you will have the capability, a potential to work in BI. Here, I put the BI as business intelligence, which is actually is also very popular and was also very important area in business these days. Uh, we can see it's the current advanced and the trend of business. Uh, it's kind of a, a umbrella term, including the technology of collecting and analyzing and using the data. Uh, of course, the content will be including uh, data warehousing, online analytical processing, very popular word, OLAP, and data mining. Uh, just give you an example how important for this BI. Um, I know someone who worked for a company is a, you might know is a tip top bread. So they work for that company to build the BI system for them. The team of, of working on this project is about 10 people. So you can see nowadays very important and uh, popular for BI as well. But of course, we are not working on a uh, high level like a BI, but imagine we build our ability, capability to working on and um, create database where then our next stage will be um, easily maintained for intelligent management of the business system. That's the BI. Okay, so that's why uh, what you're going to get out of this course. Uh, how to achieve the objectives, um, no special magic, uh, silver bullet or whatever, but uh, I can give you a very uh, fundamental suggestions. Of course, we design this course for the lectures. It provides necessary, necessary background and knowledge, knowledge and uh, the material and the core theory components of mo modern DBMA and also provide the SQL skills and knowledge building theory and practically. And also we provide a place to let you to discuss and elaborate your skills and knowledge. For the tools, we call the tools or practice or tutorial session. Uh, they will provide hands-on application of knowledge acquired and we uh, give you a chance to design, develop, and implement database for an application domain following the database design process. Um, this is a uh, suggestion basically, basically say uh, you need to uh, attend 
uh, all fully master the content both from lecture and from lab. Of course, uh, you are also doing your assignments as well. Okay, so this is how to achieve the objective. Uh, as a student, as a person major course, do a job, basically you will be wondering, okay, how I will be assessed. Um, evaluation of the learning, including two aspects. One is assessments. That is assignments. Uh, there are three assignments, subtotal of 45% of this course. Uh, we will give you details. Uh, actually, I upload assignment one specification already, but along the weeks, you will be giving details about instruction about how to complete these assignments. I will give a little bit more information today about the details. You should be able to get it, read through the specification. Uh, just one point, as you will take any other courses, beware of lateness and pleasure risk. Read the university policies and course outlines and assignment specifications. The other aspect for the evaluation is the examinations, we call it. Two items. One is a test. We call it a lab test, which will be happening in week nine. It takes 15% of the total cost. Uh, details will give you along the weeks, especially one week before we will give more details about the arrangement. Uh, and then it's final exam, which takes about 40% of this cost. Okay. Uh, again, pay attention. Students must obtain 40% in the final exam as well as 50% overall to pass the course. Of course, this is the minimal requirement to pass. I'm sure after your hard work, you will get a much higher uh, marks. Okay, but even uh, I'm sure most of you will get the hard marks. This is the bottom requirement, uh, which says, final exam, you have to take 40% at least, and in total, 50% of all the assessments. Okay. A little bit more about the course assignments. Uh, we call it SCS Resource Management Project. Uh, it's individual work, it's not group work. Assignment one, actually, as I mentioned before, uh, we mainly working on design and database. In design database, there are four steps or stages. Okay, so we design the three assignments to let you complete a database design for a partic particular application. So assignment one will complete the description and the EER model. Actually, it is the first two steps of design a database. And the due date is this one, August 30. It's a uh, end of week four. Assignment two is the third stage of the database design, logical database design, due in week eight. Assignment three is a final physical database design during uh, due in week 12. Um, other issues like a submission, just you will uh, find the exact instruction in the specification document, but basically it's soft, soft copied submission now. Um, pay attention, you have two requirements in addition to general uh, lab attendance, okay? Uh, you must attend the lab of week nine to take SQL test, and you must attend the week 12 to have your assignment three marked. So basically say week nine, week 12, you have to turn your labs. Okay. Uh, this is the 
just a list of uh, what the rooms and uh, timetables for lecture and for the labs. Uh, you must be in already one of those uh, labs. I uh, just give you a uh, list. This all information here. Okay. Uh, one important issue is about the download SQL Server from Microsoft Azure is arranged. By this, I mean, okay, in our course, uh, one important uh, uh, software is called SQL Server. Uh, that is uh, DBMS, one, one of the DBMS. Um, we will work through or uh, using this software to working on SQL coding and practice the other aspect of this course content. Uh, in the lab, all the PCs are installed with the SQL Server, but we also offered you a chance to download it uh, it's for free from Microsoft. Um, you can install it on your own laptop. Okay. As to in, in the lab, up to you. You can use in the lab PC and you can also bring your laptop as well. Uh, this is the link uh, to download. As a student, uh, at least in our course, you should be able to download it. If you have some issue in downloading, uh, email me, I uh, will sort out for you. Uh, my suggestion is you can install it before next week lab. Okay, so at least you can practice a little bit or if you an have any issue about the installation, you can ask your tutor to help you. I uh, will give you more instruction on how to install the SQL Server uh, I will give you the file before next Tuesday. Okay, you can refer to the instruction to install it. Yeah, so this is about uh, SQL Server installation. Any issue, any question, you can tap there. When I uh, pause this presentation and can go back to the menu, um, chat menu, I can see your question okay maybe another five minutes i will have a pause uh just rest okay another issue so if you are new to our university pay attention you have to fully utilize the blackboard also called the un line uh for tasks like uh, communication messaging updating lecture notes or whatever Actually, basically say for all the teaching activity or learning activity, you should fully use in the blackboard. And also another uh, suggestion is in all the communication or submission file, whatever, using your student email. Do not using your personal external email. That will delay uh, communication. Uh, this is our textbook. This is the full information about textbook. Uh, how to get it? Two ways. One is uh, I ordered with the university bookshop, but I'm not really sure whether they've got the hard copy already. Um, you can check. Another thing is, uh, another way is that you do the online shopping. That's the link there. Uh, I just checked uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, from that link, they said the uh, e copy is uh, uh, available, but uh, seems the hard copy is not available at this stage. Okay. Uh, this book will have about 35 chapters. Uh, for our course, we will deal about half dealing half of the chapters. So it's not covering all this book, but uh, I will let's I will tell you that the rest chapters are also very helpful for your further reference of future study or future work. So up to you whether you want to keep a copy of it. And also for the course preparation, we have a hard copy uh, available in library as well. It's for short loan. Okay. Uh, 
if needed for other reference, we will give you lecture notes in on Blackboard. Okay, uh, let's have a check of uh, important document which is called outline. Uh, that will give you a little bit more information to understand what this course about and what you are expect to complete. So I will bring that. Pardon me. I must forget the recording. Start the recording. I start now. <laughs> I I tried several questions. I even put a stick note in front of my screen to remind myself to do the recording. Unfortunately, I forget so far. Okay. But anyway, uh, I have the lecture note for those who did not attend this session. We need to rely on the lecture note. Okay, uh, I start recording now. Okay, this is our course ally. You might, most of you, I'm, I think you have uh, had the read already. Uh, this is about uh, uh, overview about this course and what you are required to do, like uh, spend how many hours each week, and so on and so forth. Uh, one issue I want to point out is the schedule, the weekly content. This is the planned schedule, but may, may or may not, we just vary a little bit about the uh, order to deliver it. But still, the content that we mentioned here will be covered in the following study. For example, week one, we will do the introduction as just we are doing now. Week two, we will do the assignment requirements and also do the study the tools and the DBMS and the introduction to SQL. Week three, we do the second stage of the database design. You see, I mentioned several times already database design. Uh, you may or may not know it's fully meaning, but I just try to let you uh, know the concept uh, in the later slide today, I will give you a little bit more detail. Okay, uh, week four, we will do logical data design and uh, also is kind of uh, uh, EER relational mapping. Week five, we do the normalization, which is an important step to do the uh, clean the database and remove the redundancy, put simple way. Okay, week six, we will study SQL. And also week seven, we will study further SQL. Uh, week eight, we will study the other important uh, aspect of maintain database, which is the views, transactions, and the triggers. And then we will have a two weeks semester break. Uh, pay attention to the last column, assignment the dues, First, as I mentioned, assignment one will be due in week four, and uh, assignment two will be due in week eight. And then, after straight after the two weeks break, we will have the SQL test in week nine. And then, in week ten, we will do the death based other aspects like security and access, users, rules, privileges, etc. Um, week 11, we will do the last step of database design, which is uh, physical database design. Finally, in week 12, we will do the course summary and we will check in your assignment three. So this is the plan for this course. Okay, as to other information, uh, you will have some chance after this lecture. Uh, have a look. Okay, any question or whatever? Um, let me know, we can discuss further. Okay, we come back to... All right, so this is the first half of today's content. Uh, if any question, uh, we... Uh, 
leave this uh, screen and come back to the collaborator. Any question there, we can answer or uh, discuss. Otherwise, we have break for 10 minutes. We're coming back at 7.55 to complete the second half of this lecture. Okay, I come back to the collaborator. See any message there? Okay, seems no message. Okay, uh, we have a 10 minutes break. Any message, anything to discuss? Or I will discuss when we resume. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have break 10 minutes.
has the kind of love for her that you and I once had. And you're all going to give up on me? I know not, but she means everything to me. <laughs> Yo <clears throat> uh, hello there. Hello. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize I um, took off the uh, chat. So now you can chat, but sorry, I can't answer any of the the chat. Is a long list now. That's what I'm wondering in the first half. What happened? Anyway, thank you for Steve reminding me and other any other remind me through the email. And uh, if again, if you are not uh, planning to talk, I want to talk. Please mute your uh, micro microphone, okay? Otherwise, it's it's uh, competing with me. Yeah, I still can hear some one of this uh, sound. Okay, trying to uh, silent your micro. Uh, yes. <laughs> Now it's very active on the chat. Okay, I let you chat. Uh, I do my business. I go back to the uh, slide to complete my presentation. Okay, that means I will not be answer you. But after my presentation, I will stay a while 
to see whether any uh, question on the chat I should uh, answer. Okay. Again, please turn off your micro. Otherwise, I will as a as a whole turn off your microphone. Okay. I leave it. So, please turn off. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let you type in there. I okay. I go back to my presentation. Just give me a second. I will find out. Before that, I need to record. All right, we did the first half, which is just the course uh, introduction. As I mentioned, the purpose is to let you uh, settle yourself in this course and uh, uh, wondering or no wondering, answering what you are supposed to do and how you could do it. Okay, so now we come into the second half. Introduction to DBMS. I mentioned several times of DBMS. Now we're touching the content including what is data, what is information, then what is the database and what is the DBMS. So you can see these all are connected, okay? And also requirements of today's information systems and then the DBMS and their features. And simply one concept, if we totally have no idea what is DBMS, then I give you some comparison between files which we understand quite well up to now, okay? And also what's the DBMS, what's their comparison? And also solve the issue like when to use in DBMS or when to not to use in DBMS. You see, this is a kind of basic information to let us uh, be ready to really jump into the database design. Okay, uh, you take a few slides, not few, 20 also, 30 also. Okay. We, the content is not that hard. We can go through and uh, won't take too long. We start with the data. Okay, data are facts. Just like you write anything. Write a John Stewart, you just write a lesson, you just write a, a day, whatever. These facts are data, okay? And what is the information? data are processed to create information. That means information is the data that have been processed in such a way to increase the knowledge of the person who uses